in the past we found that improvements in cardiovascular fitness were really important for improving some of the quality of life outcomes, fatigue, depression, other psychosocial outcomes. So we developed this uh, program to try and maximize fitness and the program we developed is called uh, Interval Training Program. So that's where we had patients uh, ride the bike at a modest, modest intensity uh, and then interspersed with high intensity bouts of exercise. So these were bouts of exercise where they would go full out or maximal effort for a minute or two minutes at a time and then they would get rest for a few minutes before doing it again. And that type of uh, interval training has really been shown to maximize improvements in fitness. Usual care for lymphoma patients uh, would involve any sort of normal care they get from their medical doctors and nurses and other support staff. It means it just didn't include the exercise program. So right now at most cancer centers this type of exercise program would not be considered part of uh, usual care. It's an experimental protocol that we tested but they would have done everything else that lymphoma patients would normally do but not do this particular exercise program. Their fitness improved by about 20 percent and that's considered a fairly large improvement over a 12-week period and uh, the interesting thing is the, the patients on chemotherapy responded just as well as the patients who weren't on chemotherapy so both groups had a great fitness response and that's important because uh, we know that fitness improvements are related to these improvements in their uh, how well they can function uh, physically, functionally, as well as emotionally. But the other uh, interesting possibilities, we also know that cardiovascular fitness is a strong predictor of mortality. So there's some thinking that even within cancer patients, improvements in fitness might be linked to longer survival. We haven't looked at that data yet, but certainly from other patient populations and the general population, we know that the fitter people are, the longer they live. Well, this, uh, a few Im important findings. One is uh, the program was safe and patients were able to complete it. And even though it was challenging and difficult, most patients were able to do the exercise program quite well. And the improvements in fitness and the improvements in, in how they felt were really important. I guess probably the most important finding um, is that the patients were able to complete their chemotherapy on time. It didn't interfere with their ability to complete it. And we actually found some suggestion that the group that did the exercise had a better response to their treatment. So in the exercise group, we found that 46% of patients had what's called a complete response. That means the tumor uh, is gone and there's no evidence of disease, compared to only about 30% in the usual care group had a complete response to the treatment. So the study wasn't really designed to look at that, but it, it's a very provocative finding and suggests that perhaps uh, this type of uh, exercise training program during treatments might allow patients to respond better to the treatments and get better di disease control. Well, that's, that's a great question and probably one of the most important questions. How do we get this information out there? Uh, there are lots of groups that are developing exercise programs for cancer patients. These are different cancer centers across the country and around the world are now offering these programs, so that's very exciting. But we also have uh, organizations like the YMCA's now that are developing programs for cancer patients. And here in Edmonton and around the country, we have the Wellspring program, which is getting involved in, in developing supportive care interventions for patients, including exercise programs. Uh, but ultimately, you need to get the information out uh, to groups like the Canadian Cancer Society, all the support groups for the different uh, uh, cancer groups, and certainly lymphoma patients would have their own support groups as well. So it's really a while you know, widely varying program of how we try and get this information out to cancer patients and also how we try and help them get this type of exercise program, what kind of resources we can provide through our cancer centers, through society and, and other organizations like YMCA's and Wellspring that are uh, very keen to help cancer patients cope with treatments and recover after treatments. Uh, it's a group that just started up uh, I think uh, in the last few years and Edmonton is actually a pilot site I'm going to be sitting on the advisory board for this Wellspring uh, group, but really it's a group that's trying to organize and develop and deliver supportive care programs to cancer patients. So it's a place that cancer patients and their, their families can call, visit the website, and find out um, all the programs and resources that are available to them. And one of those programs that Wellspring is very keen on developing is exercise programs for cancer patients.